Hello, my crafty loving friends. Today we're gonna try out some brand new paint that I just got sent to me. I'm so excited. Welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Let's do a trash to treasure, rescue this bookcase, renew it, and make it beautiful for somebody to re-love. So this paint is DWIL, that's the company. This color is cardamom green. I'm in love with it. I love the color, of course green, I don't know. Green is my color anyway, I think, besides black and burgundy and mustard color. I don't know. I like them all. <laughs> but I really like this. And this is for wood. And I went to the dump recently. And, of course, there was some stuff set aside that people just didn't want to quite throw away yet. But they didn't want anymore. And I saw this bookcase. Check it out. I love it. I love the burgundy color of it. But it's really scuffed up and banged up and... Normally that would be okay, but it just looked like it needed a refresh and I got this paint and I thought perfect timing. I can refresh it with some green paint. It's going to be beautiful. EWIL wood furniture is formulated water-based technology. It is specially designed for interior and wood furniture refinishing or crafting. It has low VOC and odor, but it has excellent adhesion and strong wear resistance. So when you order this paint, and they have many colors, it comes in a kit in this box. So you get a booklet that describes what you're getting and how to use the paint and what to use it on and how long it takes to dry and things like that. You get a nice paintbrush that I will not be using today, but it'll be great for a future project. You get two pieces of sandpaper, looks like 360. You get a roller and the handle. And you also get some tape, which I used this later on in the project. I didn't realize that I was going to need it, but I did. Some gloves, if you want to put those on. A piece of masking film. This is tape and plastic. So if you have something you need to mask off, there's that. And then, of course, 32 ounces of your paint color, which, like I said, this is cardamom green. So there's no telling how long this has been sitting outside and collecting dirt and dust and pine needles and everything that were on it. So I sprayed it down with some super clean that I had under the cabinet and I cleaned that all up and dusted it off. And I even took the brush that they gave us and uh, put that in the corners and dusted out all the dirt that was in there. Now, as I was cleaning it, this end or front piece here on the edge came unglued and I just took some of my uh, Gorilla Glue and glued it down. And this is where I'm going to use the tape that they sent me. I'm going to tape that down so it'll stay tight up against the piece of wood. And I'm going to let that just dry and I'll paint around it for now. And it should dry pretty fast because it is a hot day and I'm sure it will it will glue up really nicely. Okay, so now is the time to open the paint and see what it actually looks like. Ooh, look at that. I love it. It's a beautiful green color and I, I just love it. So now I'm just gonna take my stirrer. This does not come in the package. I just have it because I bought some other kind of paint and I am I'm just gonna stir that up. So it's been really hot and humid here and I was worried that the paint wouldn't dry very well. I took it outside and painted it out on a table in my backyard and in the shade hoping that it would dry and it wouldn't come out splotchy and yucky. The paint was really watery, not super super but it would know it was really watery and I was like oh boy it's gonna take a bunch of coats to cover this bookcase uh, it proved me wrong uh, it actually went on very smooth and I really loved how this looked so instead of using the brush that comes in the kit I'm going to use my brush that I got off Amazon I bought a box of five brushes I believe different different sizes different kinds so I'm just going to use that and I will link that down in the description I have shared it on my community before but um, I like the feel of these and they work really well 
so I'm using this brush. But it actually, surprisingly, this paint covers this burgundy color really well. As you know, I didn't prime it. I didn't sand it. I didn't do any of that. It wasn't super shiny, so I wasn't worried about it not being able to stick. And um, I think it went really well. The first coat always looks worse than what it is. Or maybe not what it is, but it is. it does look bad. <laughs> once you do the first coat but the when the second coat comes along it really goes on nicely and I was really happy with what it looked like now that my glue is dry on the front where I taped it and glued it I am going to I just peel the tape off and then paint it over that as well and then I will let that dry, which it dried super quick, uh, just because I think it was just so warm out. And um, I was kind of worried with it being humid that it wouldn't dry very well, but it was very quick. Now, a lot of times I don't show you the second coat because you know what it looks like to paint, but I wanted you to see how well the second coat went on and the difference in the paint color. So when it goes on, it's a, it's a light green a beautiful green color and as it dries it darkens up to this nice rich green and I just wanted you to see what it looks like there's a lot of different paints that will um, dry lighter sometimes uh, and I think that's usually your clay paint and then sometimes uh, it goes darker so this water based paint is darker and I just think it's beautiful both colors now I didn't realize that the top had damage on it when I brought it home. I never noticed it, but once I painted it, I did notice it and it just kind of bubbled up. I didn't want to scrape it off or anything like that, so uh, I decided to make a top for it. And I'm getting supervised by my grand dog, Mabel. You hear noises in the background. It's her and her brother, Ranger. I went down and cut out this piece of pine. This is just out of scrap wood that I have and I just cut the edges to make them straight and smooth. And once I got all that done, I sanded it all down. I rounded the edges on all sides. And now I'm just taking some of my dark um, stain that I use, which is antique wax and water and a little bit of black paint. And I just put that on to my board so it comes out like a stain. And I really love the color brown that this makes, and I think it's gonna go great with the, uh, the green of the bookcase. We had to move inside, and that's okay because it's a little bit cooler in here, but we did have a little bit of a rainstorm, so uh, I didn't want everything to get wet. So I'm going to put this on the top, but I like to do a little overhang on either side and the front. The back will be flush so that it will sit up against the wall. And I'm just doing a little bit over an inch, like an inch and a quarter. And I think the front is like an inch and a half. The front is a little easier to, to figure out, especially if I'm going to have it flush against the back. So that's all I do is just kind of measure on either side and make sure that it is uh, even. And I kind of eyeball it too, but Sorry about my head being in the way, but I had started a screw in there so that when I knew I had it where I wanted it, I can just pop a screw in there. And I'm gonna do them underneath. Now I did glue the top of this to the top of the bookcase. And I'm also gonna take some finishing nails and go through the top and nail that down. So being glued and nailed and then adding the screws, it should be really good. So I think the top on this bookcase was meant to be. I love the two colors together. The brown and the green always goes good together with, for me. Uh, a stain and a green color. It's just warm and fuzzy. I love it. So this is a sturdy bookcase. This guy is sturdy and heavy. And I wanted to make sure that top was on there really well. Nobody picked it up and had it fall off. So I'm pretty excited to um, just have it done and I have sealed it. I didn't get any video of that. It's one of those things where you think you hit the play button or the record button, uh, and I did not. But I sealed it, just so you know. Uh, it's been sealed, it's ready to go, and I think it's gonna go in my booth probably next Thursday. We're gonna let it sit and cure for a while. But what a lucky thing to find that at the dump, a nice trash to treasure. 
and uh, to get this paint that is for wood and to actually just be able to slap it on. We renewed it and now somebody's gonna love it and I'm just very excited. So let's check it out and see what it looks like. I'd like to thank DWIL Paint for sending me this paint just in the nick of time so that I could do my bookcase and get it finished in a beautiful color that I hope will sell in my booth. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will share the link to their website down in the description. Hopefully I'll have, I don't have one right now, but hopefully I will have a discount code for you to go in and use your discount to purchase some paint or one of their many products that they have in there. Uh, make sure you go and check them out and check out all the colors that they have. They have beautiful colors. The hardest part was picking up the color that I wanted to use, honestly. Um, so thank you all for watching my video all the way down to this point. And I hope you enjoyed the bookcase. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day.